Gymnastics is so hard. I just don't want to be at the gym right now. I'm glad I haven't broken a bone yet. Hopefully I didn't just jinx myself. <laughs> It is 6.30 in the morning, day one of my new challenge for BuzzFeed. I'm gonna be training like a gymnast for 30 days, and I am really excited, actually. When I was a kid, I always watched gymnastics, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I just thought gymnasts were so strong and in control of their bodies, and that is just not me. I'm also pretty terrified because I am scared of everything, so the idea of flipping over kind of terrifies me. When I was younger, I was always really scared to go on trampolines or diving boards because I had this irrational fear that I would would break my neck or dislocate an elbow or something like that. This will be a little different. I'll be training with Paul Ruggieri. Oh, that's not his name. Paul Ruggieri. So I enlisted the help of Paul Ruggieri, who is literally one of the best gymnasts in the world. He has his own gym in New York now. Where you can train as adults, and I really wanted to try it, and I'm an adult, so I figured why not. We'll see what happens. I have 30 days, maybe after this I'll try and join the Olympics. I just finished up a fitness project where I did 100 pull-ups a day for 30 days. And I finished that, I was literally in the best shape of my life. So I thought, well, if I'm in the best shape of my life and I really wanna be a gymnast, and gymnasts are so strong, now's the time to do it. I wasn't really just looking for physical transformations with like tighter abs or a butt or bigger shoulders or whatever. I really wanted to see how far I could go in gymnastics and uh, increase my flexibility. So I'm working on my splits and this is as far as I can go on day one, so. Wish me luck. I'm about to start my tumbling class and I'm really excited for it, but I'm just so tired and I don't know how I'm gonna keep up with this for 30 days. And sit down. The major trick that I wanted to learn was a front handspring and it's actually much harder than you think. Going into it, I sort of thought, okay, you run and you put your hands down and somehow your body flips over and you can land it but there are so many steps to it. And when you're actually trying to do it, your mind sort of goes blank with everything. Gymnastics is such like a mind sport that you have to remember all the steps, but you also have to let everything go and just trust that your body is going to do what you need it to do. When I was learning front handspring, we started doing like donkey kicks in the air and then eventually we'd build up enough momentum to flip our bodies over. And then at first you'd land on your back and then on your butt, and then you try and land on your feet. There are just so many things that could go wrong and I thought about all of them as I was doing it. So it just took me a very, very long time to land. But when I did land that front handspring after a while, it was incredible. I am finished with day one. Just got done with the tumbling class and it was really, really fun actually. I am very excited to keep going with this. One day is done, 29 left. It is day two of the project. I actually feel pretty good. I thought it was gonna be a little more sore. I definitely pushed myself yesterday, so it's not for lack of trying. Because I was doing so many workouts each day and because I was actually training like a competitive athlete does, I had to remind myself that this is literally their full-time job. But for me, I already have a full-time job at BuzzFeed. So this was a complete lifestyle change. Wake up and do a workout and then go to work and then do another workout and then sometimes another workout on top of that. And I had to convince myself that it was normal and okay and that my body would get used to it. But I was absolutely exhausted for that first week. My legs are pretty sore from yesterday. It is the beginning of day four of the challenge. I am very tired and sore and I did not want to do it. But here we are. Just worked on my tumbling for the last 90 minutes. I feel like I'm not getting any better. <laughs> I was just basically working on front handsprings the whole time and I just could not, I just don't understand it. I don't know how to keep my legs straight and I don't know how to open up like and arch my back and have my arms, I, I just don't get it. I'm so frustrated with myself. Just to work on something for so long and feel like I'm not really getting anywhere. I know it's only day four. Definitely gonna feel it tomorrow morning when I wake up, but don't have time to be sore because I have to work out again in the morning. 
During the second week of the challenge, I really wanted to focus on the front tuck, which is basically just a front flip. That was the scariest thing for me just because I don't like flipping over. And I thought if I'm gonna get hurt during the challenge, this is exactly how it's gonna happen. Just finished day 10. I worked a lot on getting comfortable with being upside down. We worked on front tucks today and I am not comfortable being upside down. Uh, everything in my body is telling me don't do this. So it's so frustrating because I want to do it and I want to be good at it, but I'm just not comfortable. I just wish I had more progress right now. Day 11 is officially done. I just got done at the gymnastics gym. There was no like session with the trainer or anything like that. It was just like an open gym. So I worked on stuff that I already knew. I was working on my uh, front handsprings and I was landing them for the most part, uh, which is awesome. That's definitely progress, but I'm noticing that my arms aren't in sync when I'm leaving the mat. So I just need to keep them together the whole time in like the same motion, just like straight the whole way. Just need to keep working on it. It is the morning of day 14. On to my first workout of the day. And it's legs today, so I'm not super excited, but I'm gonna work on handstands a bunch too, just because I really need to work on them. My goal at the end of this is to do a 10 second handstand just on my own without the wall to help me. And I don't know if that's like impossible <laughs> to do in just a couple of weeks, but I'm gonna try it and hopefully I'll be able to do it. The hardest part for me with the handstand was making sure that my back wasn't arched. I would take footage of myself and, and watch it repeatedly and just see that there was a curve in the spine, so I needed to really tighten up and keep a hollow hold in my torso. One of the things that Paul taught me was to practice by doing push-ups. To just make sure that my elbows are sort of coming in this way instead of, I guess when I do a handstand, my hands are like this, but I wanna make sure that they're straight and pointing at you. Because if not, your arm's gonna be in and bent, and that's just a lot harder to keep a straight hold and then a hollow hold too. <sighs> it's so tough. During the third week of this challenge, I was sort of getting tired of all of the workouts. I decided to change it up a bit. So I did a 20 by five to celebrate my 20 days. So I did 20 sets of five reps each, uh, gobble squats and then five pull-ups and then five push-ups. It was also a test for myself to see how strong I was getting because I don't think I would have been able to complete that whole workout beforehand. And then I completed it in just under an hour, which is absolutely ridiculous. Pretty tired right now. I'm feeling it, but um, back at the gym later today. I just finished day 24, I think. I finished tumbling classes and it was good. It was with the advanced class, so definitely felt some pressure. But yeah, we worked on back handsprings, back tucks. I worked on that, they worked on other stuff. It was fun, I did my first back tuck and I did it off of, I did it from a height, which was even scarier. And yeah, it was terrifying, but I did it, I survived. It is day 26 of the challenge on a Friday and only a couple days left of the challenge. So really, really have to push myself. There's uh, opening tumbling class tonight. So I don't have an instructor working with me, but I get to work on whatever I'm comfortable doing on my own. So I'll be trying to do front tucks and front handsprings pretty much all night uh, because I want, I really want to be able to land them by the end of the project. I'm gonna be mad if I can't, so see what happens. That was the best gymnastic class I've ever had. I landed my front handspring and my front tucks several times. Uh, I was talking to one of the trainers. He said, you can't say you officially learned the skill until you land it three times in a row. So that was my goal to land the front tuck at least three times in a row. And I did. And uh, I don't know, I'm like ecstatic right now. I was so worried this morning. I was like, there's only like five days left of the challenge and I don't have anything to show for it outside of a cartwheel and round off. But uh, now that I've landed the front handspring and the front tucks, I'm just, wow, I'm feeling so much, so much better about this. I did it. That's so cool. I don't remember what day it is, day 20 something. There's only a few days left in the challenge. I just had a handstand class and then right after I had my tumbling class. Both were super fun. Handstand class was 
very tiring. It's pretty much just an hour shoulder workout, but then we had the tumbling class. The instructor was really impressed with my front tucks, so then we sort of went a layer past that and we did front pikes, which are basically a front flip, but my legs are straight the whole time. I don't know, it's cool to, uh, to do new things like that. Now I have a new thing to work on. Hopefully I can figure it out before the challenge is done. Yeah, only a couple days left. It is day 29. Challenge is almost done. I uh, just had my tumbling class and we worked on round off back tucks. I haven't really done back tucks before, but for some reason we just went right into round off back tucks. So I was feeling pretty adventurous, I guess. But yeah, so I have tomorrow and hopefully I'll be able to successfully do them without a spotter. The spotter tonight said he wasn't really doing anything by the end of it. He just had his hand there to make sure I wasn't, I don't know, falling off the track, I guess. But yeah, he said it was basically all me, which is pretty impressive. One more day. It is day 30. I just finished my tumbling class which means I am officially done with the challenge. Uh, and I don't want it to end. I really, really enjoyed it. I was getting really frustrated with myself in the first hour because I was trying to do two front tucks in a row. I probably did, I don't know, out of my first 50 front tucks, I probably only landed like three of them. I was just getting so frustrated because I knew the skill, I learned it within the last week and I'd done it so many times and now I just like forgot it. And then as time went on, I sort of got it back again but I couldn't do the two in a row. So I was getting a little upset that I just took a break and then I came back and I tried to do my round off back tucks. Yeah, I didn't really need a spotter for those and I'm just, I'm kind of proud. I think going into the challenge, I really wanted to learn a round off back handspring but a round off back tuck is more impressive in my mind because I don't put my hands on the ground. I feel like it's a harder skill. I don't know, I'm just really excited and I'm sad that the challenge is over and I want to keep going with it. So I went into the project doing uh, an unattractive cartwheel and half of a handstand for like a second. And by the time I finished, I was able to do cartwheels, round offs, front handsprings, round off back tucks, front tucks, car wheels on the balance beam. I got a lot more flexible throughout this challenge too. So it wasn't just a physical transformation and learning tumbling passes. My splits got a lot better. You can tell in the before and after pictures. When I first tried to split, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. And in the after picture, I, it's like much more relaxed and controlled, even though I'm just like trying to hide the pain of the stretch in my face. But I just got a lot more flexible and in tune with my body. And I fell in love with gymnastics and with tumbling. I want to keep doing it forever. I just think it's so cool to be able to not do something and then teach your body to do it. Yeah, it's just a lot of practice. I could barely do a cartwheel when I first started this. And 30 days later, I'm doing round off back tucks. I don't know, I keep saying it's ridiculous, but that's because it is. It is literally, it's just ridiculous. It takes so much to practice and to learn and then to master all of these skills. And I just have so much respect for gymnasts because they're just so strong and fit and in control of their bodies. And I like have a piece of that now by training like them for 30 days. From the kid who worries about everything and is scared of everything, I'm proud of myself for doing 300 flips tonight. Oh, it's right here. I did it.